Hey y'all, I'm the final anomaly and today I bring you an ABC deck combo guide that'll help you get end boards like this one right here. The level 7 engine along with ABC synergy is just insane. The ability to play through Droll and Lockbird, the deck just continues to amaze me. Whether you know ABC or not, I hope you get something out of this combo guide and tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe, let's get into the video. We're going to go ahead and go over the deck list first. I do want to go over the card by card. I think there's going to be some very important information that I want to share with you about this deck here in this section of the video. For example, this deck can play through Droll and Lockbird. I've done it several times live on stream. People thought it couldn't play through Droll. The deck can absolutely play through Droll. Now, you won't get your full board, but you will get pretty decent uh, coverage or pretty decent presence on the board to help defend yourself for the following turn. So just keep that in mind. So if you want to hear things like that, stick around because there are certain routes for the combo I won't go over in the combo guide, given that they're just small little details that I'm going to go over here verbally. Um, so I want to start off by saying this is the strongest version of ABC hands down prove me wrong i'm pretty sure i'm right at least that's my opinion i have so many versions of abc that i've ran that this has become the most consistent most synergized it's just incredible i am very happy with this build of the deck let's go ahead and go over the list here we're gonna go over the hand traps first and then the bricks so the hand traps that are, these are an absolute must non-negotiable three drone lock birds three maxis three ash blossoms you need these the metagame is so crazy right now with hand traps everybody is running uh drone log bird and maxi and that's for a reason because the super heavy samurai and manadium uh these decks are very strong i don't think these are negotiable um actually i don't think any of these are negotiable the only one that might be negotiable is the nibiru um i feel that it's an absolutely important card to have you want to have something to draw into with the maxi and it's still very strong um so i would say that the nibiru is also non-negotiable but at the same time you could kind of debate you might want to put another card in there uh, then we have the two called by the graves and then the cross out designator you need these so that you can survive going first because your opponent will have maxi your opponent will have your own lockbird if you're playing against branded just surrender because they will open two three hand traps and full combo with the 60 card deck i, I i'm trying to figure out the ratios in my head it just blows my mind anyway so you have to have these hand traps those are the hand traps for the deck you got six nine 10, 11, 12, 13 hand traps in the deck. You are bound to open one or two hand traps going second. Um, I don't because I'm unlucky, but that's the reason they're there so that you survive going second. We do have gas as well going second. Anyways, let's go over the absolute bricks in the deck now. So cards that I consider to be the absolute bricks, and we're going to skip over O-line because a lot of people seem to think this is a brick. Uh, two union drivers is in the deck. These are absolute bricks. You don't want to see them in the hand. Um, absolutely do not want to see these in the hand now here is where i'm going to explain a scenario where union driver in hand can come in clutch if you open one of your level seven monsters uh given uh, fenrir or unicorn um and you open driver of course this is where you have to have specific details you either have to have opened um an additional card um distrudo or uh, Therian king so if you have that what you can do is special summon your level 7. Let's say it's Unicorn. If it's Cashier, it doesn't matter because you can search uh, Scarecrow and still do the same thing. But you would special summon uh, Unicorn, get your birth, tribute Unicorn for uh, Driver, bring back Unicorn with birth, then link into Borg Blocker, um, and then use Therian King to bring back Driver, special summon Driver, and go into Aurora Dawn, and then you'll end your combo with three negates. Um, so you end your combo with three negates there. Uh, that is a, 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 a route or Distrudo. If it's not Therian King, you would special summon Distrudo and then go into Aurora Dawn that way. Uh, that ends up becoming only two negates. But that's if you open this brick in hand and, you know, nothing else. No other options in hand but those. So there's small scenarios where sometimes you're like, ooh, the driver came in clutch. Um, that that works. Or sometimes you open a field spell uh, or you open Dragon Ravine, um, your level seven, and then Union Driver and the rest are bricks. You can actually do the Dragon Ravine um bring out just get, get destrudo special summon unicorn tribute for driver and then use destrudo effect to go into your ancient fairy dragon going full combo um so there is instances where driver in hand can be clutch but you don't want to see it that's a total brick uh, another one is a fraxies a fraxy is a problem card in my experience i draw it a bunch i probably once every three duels so i guess i might draw it one two out of every five duels i i, I dislike it 
It really upsets me. Don't know if you'll be as unlucky as I am. I am just naturally an unlucky person. But you don't want to see that card in hand. It's totally searchable. But it is one of the strongest negates in the deck. And so, absolute brick. Nine pillars. Nine pillars again. Absolute brick. You don't want to see this in your hand. The only time nine pillars comes in clutch in hand is if you get drawn Lockbird. Because you can still get out all your combo pieces. Um, and then you normally end with one less negate because of draw. But if this is in your hand... Then you have that negate that you wanted, which is the strongest negate. So the only time nine pillars comes clutch, comes in clutch is if you can go combo uh, and then it's in your hand if you get drooled. So that's the only time that it and it, it has happened a few times where it's in my hand and I'm like, yes. Um, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, those are to me the absolute bricks. And then I will go over maybe um, what might could be a brick. So the ABC pieces, of course, if you don't have anything else to extend and you just open your ABC pieces, you're kind of just up the creek without a paddle. And so they're not necessarily bricks because they're your starters per se. You know, it's kind of a shame to say your starters are cards that aren't a one hard combo, but um, you do need them. But at the same time, if you just open ABC pieces and nothing else to extend, then you have nothing. You need an extender for that to work. Um, so not total bricks, but you know, you want to see them with something else that you can play. Um, but I would say that that is probably, uh, it for the bricks. Now, O lion, here's where I want to kind of go over O lion. O lion is no longer a brick in this deck. If you can get a card to special summon, which you get a lot of them, um, then O lion ends up getting you at least two negates, potentially three or a banish, depending on what else you draw. So I'll give you an example. If you draw a lion and uh, Epigonin, you normal summon a lion, tribute it, special summon Epigonin, get your token, you get your token with a lion, and then you get a free Aurora Dawn going to negates at least. If you open a lion and a level seven that special summons itself, you get a free Aurora Dawn. Plus, you get one of the Kashira cards back from the grave, and, and depending on what you get, right? If it's Fenrir, uh, then you get a Scareclaw. If it's a Unicorn, then you get a, a Fenrir. Um, not a Fenrir, sorry, a Unicorn. So really just depends. Uh, you end up um, you end up with something if you end up with a lion in your hand. If you have a lion in your hand and you have full combo, then you get an extra negate or an extra summon synchro summon uh, because now you have a lion in your hand. So that's another thing. So keep that in mind. Um, and I'll explain here in a bit uh, why uh, you'll get the extra synchro. Um, and so, anyways. That's going to be it for the what I think are bricks. So Lion, again, is, is you don't want to see it in your hand, but it, it's actually a really good card to see in your hand now because of this build. So let me explain now a little bit. Um, essentially, the level 7s are there for the special summons. Any Kashira card that you draw into and can get on the board will give you two extenders of, of the field spell as well. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to say 5 because, unfortunately, Scareclaw Cash is not an extender. You have 5 double extenders with your Kashira cards, which ABC struggles with the most. So it's huge. On top of that, they're Imperm targets. They're Ash targets. Um, also, you can Special Summon them, and then if they trigger the Maxi, you at least have some type of presence on the board to hopefully stand a chance. Um, so, for example, if you Special Summon Fenrir, now you have a potential Banish they got to worry about. They might go into the battle phase, and then you survive the turn. You might have some Hand Traps in your hand, and that'll be enough to let you survive the turn. So, keep that in mind. It's also nice, and they're also gas if you're going second. Um, so, that's uh, for the level 7s. Of course, we have Ascended of Thunder, also Extender. Everything's about extending, 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 having that extra card, and the level 7 uh, engine. So that's what Ascended of Thunder is there, and then Epigonin is level 7. And then again, like I said, you contribute away a monster special summon it. You also get another body, giving you a Roar Dawn, or even giving you that second level 7. So if you open a Unicorn and nothing else, and Epigonin, you search Birth, you Tribute, uh, Unicorn, special summon Epigonin, bring back Unicorn with Birth, and then you go into Tomahawk. So huge there. That's that's it for the level sevens. Of course, Destrudo's a level seven, which will get you Ancient Fairy Dragon, which another level seven also gets you Aurora Dawn. But at that point, you already have any route you want to full combo. So even Aurora, even Destrudo into whatever will get you um, Ancient Fairy Dragon, which will give you the level seven engine for more bodies to be able to link away and uh, and and synchro away. Um, so that that's pretty much it there for the level seven engines. The field spells we're gonna have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So you're always, you're very likely to open into a field spell. Three Union Drivers, of course. Three Dragon Ravines. You want to see these cards in your hand. Heck, if you see both of them in your hand, and then the Altamax C, you are golden. You are good to go. And so those are it for the field spells there, of course. We have the one Therian Discolosseum and the one Pressure Planet. All these searchable with Ancient Fairy Dragon. 
all of them searchable by ancient fairy dragon so that's super huge there of course the one birth because that's the extra extender plus banish tree from the grave if you decide to end your board with the cash tier card and that's pretty much it for the deck there um i'm gonna go over the extra deck really quick of course the therian king guys therian king is meant to be for abc you bring back an abc piece you then special summon it just to keep extending and an extra negate so that's it for the main deck let me go over the extra deck really quick now it says 14 cards because i left one card up to whatever y'all want to do i think this is a very tight extra deck super tight extra deck depending on what routes you want to go um, and you could add merrymaker and sargus and take out maybe elf and um, tg if you don't want the extra draw three for a little more consistent uh Therian king but i like the draw three because the deck also um has a hard time with cards in hand anyway for the extra deck two abc so if you want to bump this up to three um there is situations where i wish i had abc at three and probably would have won the duel if he was at three uh the one tg hyper librarian for the draw three because you're gonna get draw three from this combo um dang long uh for the um yang zing route which is going to give you the nine pillars which is the strongest negate it's got out it's going to be the out to dark ruler which a lot of people are playing it's going to be the negate it also returns to the deck so if you're playing for example sprite and they summon the level two activate in effect you return it to the deck they surrender uh just that easy ancient fairy dragon is by far the best card you're going to have in this deck the absolute must you always want the ancient fairy dragon route because he's your level seven extra he's the second level seven body if you need it he's a free special summon he's a free search for a field spell he's full combo he's just broken anyways um, so that's absolute must. We got the Boral Savage Dragon if we decide to go that route for the negate. We have the XL Synchro Sardis Dragon if we want to get the Barone instead on the board. Plus, these are extra draws, which is going to get you your draw three um, with TG Hyper Librarian. Number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk. This made its way to the deck not that long ago, actually. I realized that I was already running Kashira in the deck, and then I thought it just it's a no-brainer. We got to add this card because we're already running the level 7 engine. So this card is more of a why not it just doesn't make any sense not to run it i know it could be cringe sometimes but there's no reason not to run this card uh, of course the ip mascarena this is so that you have the ip mascarena on the opponent's toward on the opponent's board the old version of this deck you would end with the with ip mascarena on the board now with this version of the deck ip mascarena would actually be in the grave because you bring it back with uh elf from the grave onto the board because your board is super full uh when you're done with the board so this is just an extra interruption back from the grave when it's ready to come back it also is your way into elf um borg blocker because this is any two monsters so you don't have to have two machine monsters to go into borg blocker to then to be able to go into a roar don so borg blocker is an absolute must because you can use any two monsters to get into this and this will be your, this will act as two machine monsters for a roar don so you only need one more elf is there to bring back a tuner which is a lion back from the grave to be able to go into that second synchro to get into that draw three combo. It's going to be targeting protection and it's going to bring back your IP on the opponent's turn. It's an excellent card to add to the deck. And then it's targeting protection for Aurora Dawn. So before you go into the TG Hyper Librarian route, you would play Aurora Dawn. And then if they do imperm, they'll have to imperm the elf your aurora dawn is safe and the nice thing is that once they do that then you know oh i can't go the tg hyper librarian route i have to go the original route so we're not going to get to draw three but um aurora dawn doesn't get stopped by the imperm which is huge and then we have uh, underworld goddess which this is an absolute must this is actually the card that you get out with goddess this card has saved the duel for me so many time against branded it's against uh fluandries believe it or not people are still playing fluandries against uh, labyrinth this card is just amazing i've used it i don't even use it for its graveyard effect anymore now it's just become the negate or the floodgate when it comes to the board it is wild when people activate uh for example for branded diffusion summon um uh go ahead and play ip what's going to happen is it'll special summon they will do what they have to do and then goddess's effect will activate negating everything on their board it's super amazing it's an absolute must you do not take goddess out of the deck you have to white woman jump scare them every chance you get so uh, anyways y'all that is the deck real quick before we go over the combos just really quick maybe cards that i would recommend for that one card that needs to go into this deck you can add an additional synchro uh a synchro you'll find yourself in a lot of situations where you can uh special summon an additional level seven so zeta used to be in this deck you can go into zeta uh you can go into there's a clear wing dragon i believe that's a synchro level seven um so those are probably the two that i would recommend as far as synchro cards that will give that'll get you the extra draw or not the extra draw sorry because you'll end up using tg hyper librarian but there's been situations where you can get that extra banish or the negate for level five monsters or higher with clearwing 
Uh, so that's an option. Another option is Nightmare Unicorn. I found myself in so many situations where I wish I had Nightmare Unicorn, especially for branded. So Nightmare Unicorn is another option, but you can toy around with uh, whatever you want in this deck. Even Savage Dragon can probably be replaced depending on which routes you go. So those are the cards that are optional. Anyways, that's it for the deck list. Sorry, it was so lengthy. Let's get into the combos. For this combo here, I want to show you that this hand here is insane. This hand is nuts. It is full combo. We have our searcher with Union Hanger. We have our searcher and we have the level seven with Unicorn. We did open up the Destrudo, which is an additional level seven and Ancient Furry Dragon. We have the Altamaxi and then we have a Nib just for extra. Now here, we would much rather want the Kashira Unicorn to be ashed than the Union Hanger. So we're gonna, and then we want to try to save the Called by the Grave for Maxi. So we're gonna go ahead and special summon the Unicorn. Um, now here, if he gets Impermed or Ash, that's fine. It's not absolutely necessary, um, but it does help for this obviously uh, to go through. So we'll activate it. And uh, now if it gets Ashed, you know that your Union Hanger won't get Ashed. Um, but in this case, we're gonna go ahead and get Birth. Then you'll want to activate the Union Hanger. Now at this point. If they do stop the play with an Ash, you're going to want to call by the Grave it. You're going to have to. We're going to go ahead and search B. The only time you want to search um, AC is if you already have B in hand because then you won't be able to even extend further. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to normal summon the B Buster Drake here. We're going to be able to use a uh, Union Driver. Uh, then we're going to go in and we're going to be able to use this to attach Union Driver. We're going to go ahead and activate Union Driver and you're going to want to attach C Crush Fireburn. Uh, so we'll attach Seed Crush Fiber. Now here, if Destrudo wasn't in hand, it, it didn't hurt very much, given that we could still extend because we have enough extenders to go combo here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and activate the um, Destrudo. This will let us then play um, the uh, Destrudo. Now keep in mind, if you're scared of Nibiru, you could have completely opted to skip the Special Summon of Unicorn um, because you can get Altherian King on your 5th Summon. If you skip out on Unicorn, you would have normal summon B Buster, attach C, done Destrudo, detach C, that would have been your third summon, use Destrudo and B to go into Ancient Fairy Dragon, that would have been your fourth summon, and then you would use Ancient Fairy Dragon's effect to search this Colosseum, get this Colosseum, then use Therian, and Therian King will come out on that fifth summon. If they nib you at that point, you're safe, you're fine. Go ahead and negate it, you're going to be able to get the rest of your combo pieces out. At that point, you have enough. So, if you're scared of the Nibiru, um, do not special summon Unicorn, just go this route here. You'll get, and, and keep that keep that route in mind, because you can always go uh, Therian King on your fifth summon. So anyways, after this, we're going to go ahead and detach Sea Crush Wyvern. What you want to do next is you can go into Ancient Fairy Dragon at this point. You want to use your B-Buster so that you can search your Assault Core. Um, so we'll go ahead and get out um, Ancient Fairy Dragon. And then we're going to go ahead and search for ASO Core. Now, here's where this part of the combo or this route is completely broken. We have enough extenders. We have enough extenders to go the level 7 engine route. So we can go the level 7 engine route. And we don't even need to worry about anything else. And then you just go the level 7 engine route, which y'all, I will go over uh, here in this next combo. So I'm going to actually go a different route here. But if you want to know how do you go the level 7 route... In the next uh, combo, I'm strictly only going the level 7 engine route, so you can look into that. I'm going to go ahead, for the sake of the video, in a different combo, show you differently here. So what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to activate this, and we are actually going to go ahead and destroy the, the uh, field spell there. We're going to go ahead and search D uh, Theory and Disc Coliseum. If you already have Theory and Disc Coliseum, get Dragon Ravine because it's still helpful. Dragon Ravine will still get us another tuner for extending the combo. And if you have that, then get the power boost with the other field spell. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and play Disc Coliseum here. We're going to go ahead and get Therian King. Again, I'm going to skip the level 7 route because you don't need to go the level 7 route here for Tomahawk. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to actually activate um, Ancient Fairy Dragon's effect. We're going to special summon a Assault Core here. And then once we do that, we're going to go ahead and go Therian Regulus. We'll go ahead and attach the B. We'll play Regulus here. We have so many extenders, we don't need to go Tomahawk. Um, so again, the purpose of this video is to show you that we don't need to go Tomahawk. Next, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into IP Mascarena. Now, the most ideal thing probably to do is going to be the two level sevens. So we'll go into IP Mascarena here. And this is also going to get us extra draws. Um, so what we'll do, and if you go Tomahawk, you even get more draws. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the B. Then what we're going to go ahead and do next is we're going to go ahead and actually uh, do Sprite Elf. 
So we're going to go IP Masquerina and B Buster so that we get that extra draw. Or that extra search for the extra card in our hand. So we're going to the Sprite Elf at this point. We're going to go ahead and search. And what we're going to go ahead and search is actually going to go... It doesn't matter what we search here. I'm just going to go ahead and get another B. What I'm going to go ahead and do next is we're going to go ahead and go into uh, Borg Blocker here. And for Borg Blocker, we can go into A Assault Core and C Crush Wyvern. Because we searched B, we have another B in Grave. We can go into Borg Blocker here. Now, what we want to do is we're actually going to activate these. So we're going to go C. And then we're going to go ahead and go B here. And the reason we're going to go B here is because we, in case they have like a rabbit, we don't want this card being destroyed. So we'll go ahead and activate this. This is going to be to give us another field spell back from Grave. Here, you can choose whatever you want. We're going to search the B because we're going to bring B right back. Gonna go ahead and bring B right back. And now what this does is this gets us another search from the deck, and it allows us to bring back a field spell from the deck with a assault with a Borg Blocker's effect. So we're gonna go ahead and special summon the B here. And now at the end of the turn, we're gonna bring back a field spell from the grave. What we're gonna go ahead and do here next is we're gonna go ahead and go into um Auroradon. You want to be super careful here that you have exactly the four spaces. Um, so that you can do the because then you won't be able to get the token So make sure you have your four spaces if you do the combo, right? You're always gonna have the four spaces. We're gonna activate this again uh, at this point Aurora Dawn is safe from imperm We're gonna go ahead and do our extra search just to thin down the deck and have an extra card in hand at this point We can go ahead and search C. That's fine We're gonna go ahead and get the tokens out again. All of this is without tomahawk y'all the deck can do this several times without tomahawk so if you don't have access to your level 7 engine route don't think oh you can't go full combo that's what i love about the deck and that's what i love about the choices that i made uh to, to diversify the extra deck so that you can still pull this off of course target where the arrows point um once you do that you're going to bring out the o lion then you're going to go into tg hyper librarian now keep in mind if they tried to imperm that auroradon and couldn't and chose to imperm the elf i'm going to say this and i know i'm going to say this multiple times do not go TG Hyper Librarian if Elf has been negated because then you won't be able to bring back your level 2 tuner. So just remember that, please. I've done it once. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate now to bring back the level 2 tuner. Now at this point, we can go into Danglong. So we're going to go ahead and go into Danglong. This is going to get us a search and a draw. So the nice thing is, is that Danglong will, um, I'm sorry, the search will activate first and then Danglong will activate second so that we don't draw into that nine pillars. Um, so here we'll go ahead and draw into, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, search the nine pillars. Now we're going to get to draw a card here and we drew Distrudo. Um, I, we've already gone this route, so we won't be able to extend further, but that's fine. We're then going to go ahead and go into Stardust Dragon. Go ahead and summon it. This will give us another draw, plus we're going to do another search, so we now we won't draw into this card. And then we're going to go ahead and bring back the level 2 tuner from the grave. We'll go ahead and bring back O-Lion. Go ahead and get Zephraxi and special summon him. Now, if you don't want Zephraxi, Zephraxi will destroy himself with the effect of 9 pillars, so if you don't want to put him on an arrow, you don't have to. Make sure you adjust according where you summon your monsters to see who you want to have the targeting protection. So, I could have had better placement for uh, Zephraxi there. Now, here you could choose. Uh, I would more go for the negate, though. Um, and then, so we were going to go ahead and do this. This will get us another draw and then another negate on board. I'm going to go ahead and give him the targeting protection here. We're going to get to get another draw here. And then we go ahead and get uh, A Assault Core. Now, I will say this. Here is where the um, the Zeta comes in handy. If you didn't go Ancient Fairy Dragon and you hadn't used Destrudo, here's where you would play Destrudo and then go into Zeta having another Banish. So that's the reason sometimes having that extra Synchro in the deck is actually a must. Is because we if we hadn't gone Ancient Fairy Dragon, we'd drawn to Destrudo or Dragon Ravine. We would then continue to extend. We would activate the Destrudo, uh, then go into Zeta having an extra banish on the board, which is huge. Now, here what we can do to end the board even stronger. Uh, we could keep the TG Hyper Librarian if we wanted to, because we that would be our third monster for the um, Goddess line, or to go Goddess. But what we can do is we can actually do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into ABC um, before anything. So we're going to go into ABC. We have so many cards in our hand anyways. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and activate um, ABC Dragon Buster's effect. 
I'm gonna go ahead and send Destrudo since he's uh he's nice and cozy there in the grave. We can use his effect again. Let's go ahead and send TG Hyper Librarian. And now we can actually activate Cash Tier of Birth um, to have him on the board. Now, if we look here, we're gonna go ahead and set the nine pillars. We're gonna go ahead and set the called by the grave. And this here is a board that you can get without the Tomahawk line, without the level sevens. If you did that, we would have actually ended with probably an extra card in hand. And so anyways, let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna end my turn here. We still get a field spell back from the grave. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Union Driver back from the grave. And then I do wanna just share uh, this. Um, we're not gonna activate any of this. I wanna share really quick the board with you and show you what the end board looks like here. We're going to go ahead and let the uh, uh, AI here just do whatever they want with their turn. They're actually going into the battle phase. I'm going to go ahead and uh, for the sake of um, of showing you my end board, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just send that over. All right. So anyways, let me show you the end board here of what this looks like. Um, of course, it's just the AI, but this is what you ended with. You ended with a negate, an Omni negate with Zephraxy which gives you um, the strongest negate in the deck, which gives you the nine pillars. This is the fastest spell speed, other than, of course, spell speed. I'm having a brain fart. Not faster than Super Poly. But anyways, um, this is going to be the fastest spell speed. It's going to go ahead and return the monster to the to the deck, which protects from destruction If in case they have an effect that goes to the grave. Or if you don't want them in the grave, super strong against, like, Sprite Elf. Uh, or didn't sprite out, but just sprite when they normal summon their level two. Try to activate the effect. You send it back to the deck, and now they can't special summon. And so very strong card, the out to dark ruler. We also have targeting protection with sprite elf. Um, we have an omni negate with barone. We have an omni negate with Therian king. We have a banish with abc dragon buster. We um, also have the effect of cashier unicorn to search the extra deck. We have the spell card from cashier birth to banish three cards from the graveyard. Uh, as well, if they activate a, um, if they activate a spell, not just that, we also drew into the called by the grave, and we drew into the ash, and we drew into the Nibiru. So on top of that, we have the called by the grave, the ash, and the Nibiru from the draw three. There's so many cards you can draw into to just continue. You can get hand traps, so that's even extra to add insult to injury there. Not just that, y'all. So Therian King, if you don't know, Therian King will will send itself to the grave to do the negate. The Fraxy will destroy itself. This will allow us to separate ABC, okay? So keep that in mind. But before you would do that, we have IP Mascarena in the grave. So once one of these are away, once either the Fraxy or uh, Regulus are not on the board anymore, and they summon a monster, you can bring back IP Mascarena from the grave. So on top of the three Omni Negates, the Kashira and the Birth Effects, the Targeting Protection, the Banishing, the Hand Traps, you still have IP in the grave for a goddess. You would use IP, you would use elf, you would use unicorn, and then you would use their monster to go into goddess. And then that's going to assist in clearing your board for the follow-up to be able to separate ABC so that you now have more follow-up on the opponent's turn as well. So y'all, this is huge. This is a very strong board. It's very consistent. It happens a lot. Um... And then, not just that, but if they happen to run over a monster like they were trying to run over a monster just a little bit ago, and Therian King was already in the grave, you would have brought him back with this Coliseum. The board is nuts. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this. This is just a bunch of disruptions. I mean, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Too many. Too many. Seven, eight with your hand traps. Too many. Uh, let's get into the next combo. For this combo, I'm going to go over the level 7 engine route. This is kind of a scenario where uh, you draw into cards you can't play except for the one that you can special summon. What you would do here is you would actually special summon Unicorn and then search Birth, which is huge. Now, if you're scared Birth is going to get... Um, if you're scared that Birth is going to get Ash, then do Therian Discoliseum as the bait because that's the least important card um, at the moment anyway. Of course, we want it, but it's the least important card. So if that gets Ashed, then you're good. Uh, what you would do is special summon the Unicorn... You would then search birth. Of course, if you again, if you're scared, do this Coliseum first. But for the sake of the video, what we'll do is we'll play Cash Tier of Birth. At this point, the way that you'll use Epigonin is you'll go ahead and activate Epigonin. You'll want to go ahead and tribute the Cashier Unicorn, play Epigonin. You're going to get a free body on the board, uh, which is your uh, token here. 
And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and activate birth and birth is gonna bring back unicorn here. And now we have our level seven engine. Um, so what we'll do at this point is we'll go ahead and go into uh, Tomahawk. So we'll go ahead and play Tomahawk here. Then we'll go ahead and activate Tomahawk's effect. And then we'll get our tokens. Now, I do want you to keep this in mind as well. Let's say Tomahawk were to have gotten impermed at this moment. You could then play th this Colosseum, get Therian King, link your token away, and, Tom and Tomahawk for Borg Blocker. Use Therian King to then bring back... Um, use Therian King to then bring back um, Tomahawk, and then you can use them to go into Aurorodon. Or you could tribute some in your Union Driver, link those away for Borg Blocker, then use... Therian King to bring back um, uh, Union Driver, and then you have Aurora Online and Therian King. So keep that in mind. There's so many routes here, y'all. So if this was to get if this was to get impermed, you still have three negates on board for the opponent's turn, and that's if it got impermed. Uh, so what we'll do is once we'll do that, we're gonna go into IP. The reason we want IP first is because IP is our way to uh, Sprite Elf, and so it doesn't matter what you select here. It can be any two. We're gonna go ahead and go into um, IP Mascarena. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go into Elf. Again, doesn't matter what to at this point. Um, we'll go ahead and go into Elf. So now IP Mascarena is in the grave to be able to come back from the grave on the opponent's turn. And even though we have a full board, we're going to be able to clear the board. And again on that later. So what we're going to do next is now that we have this done, uh, we're going to... And now at this point, if you're still scared of a negate again, you can do the Disc Coliseum, get out Therian King, and then Therian King can get out. Uh, tomahawk but if you don't feel a toggle save it because we can always go into a different play later and so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go into aurora dawn now keep in mind again there's many different routes i'm just showing you the basic route we're going to go into aurora dawn at this point at this point aurora dawn is protected from imperm because if they imperm they'll have to target elf because they have targeting protection now if they target elf with an imperm here do not go the tg hyper librarian route because you need to have that level two tuner so do not go TG Hyper Librarian if Elf gets impermed here. Go ahead and activate a Lion. I mean, sorry, Auroradon. We're going to go ahead and activate. We're going to send Auroradon and we're going to send the token. I like to clear the arrows here. We're going to go ahead and bring out a Lion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into TG Hyper Librarian here. Of course, uh, if Elf got impermed, you wouldn't want to do that because now Elf won't be able to bring back the Lion. Um, so we'll go ahead and select the Yes for the token. Then we're going to activate Elf's effect to bring back the old lion. This is our level 2 tuner to go into our level 5 uh, uh, Danglong. Then we're going to go ahead and go into Danglong here. Go ahead and just put him in the arrow in case there's still risk of something. We're going to go ahead and get to draw a card here. Danglong is going to thin down the deck by searching 9 pillars. So our draw is going to be so much more effective. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you draw into Zephraxi with TG. It just means that we're going to have more space on the board. So we go ahead and get uh, Scareclaw here. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into Stardust Dragon. This is going to get us our second draw with TG Hyper Librarian. And it's also going to bring back that O-Lion. So we're going to get that, that second draw. We're going to go ahead and activate this. We're going to go ahead and then also activate Danglong. Danglong is going to let us bring Zephraxy and Special Summon him onto the board. Uh, so we're going to get to Special Summon Zephraxy, we're going to get to bring back a level 2 tuner from the grave onto the board, and we're going to get to draw a card here. We're going to do this, and then we get to draw a card. And that, see, you see that? So if I had used this Colosseum, which I probably should have for the purpose of the video, we would have drew into a different card. But, the nice thing about this is, this is an example, if you don't have this Colosseum, there's a huge likelihood that you will either draw this Colosseum or Therian King, just extending your plays even further it's 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 wild so let's pretend we didn't open this coliseum we just drew Therian king um, but if you do it's probably better before you start getting your draws use this coliseum so you don't draw into Therian king like that next we're going to go ahead and go into um uh, barone we're going to go ahead and put him in the arrow here that way he doesn't get hurt we're going to get to get an additional draw here and we drew a b buster drake so I don't know at this point if any of that is going to be beneficial to us, um, but we have another negate here. I mean, we can attempt to see if any of this is beneficial to us. I mean, maybe we can do the B-Buster here. Uh, we can go ahead and then um, activate this. 
and we'll go ahead and attach the tomahawk and then now we have uh so the bee buster was pointless um i was gonna see if there was anything i could do with it if you wanted to you could pop it with uh with barone just to get that extra search that way you have more follow-up for the following turn now i will recommend in this case play the theory and disc coliseum the reason you want to do that is because uh if uh if if theory king goes to the grave on the battle phase you can bring him back another thing you could have done is instead of getting that third draw you could have actually gone into ancient fairy dragon and try to get abc out anyways the way that this board ends up looking is you have targeting protection uh you have one two three negates uh you have targeting protection again you get to bring back ip mascarena from the grave um, and so what you can do here is you'll have two for IP, three for TG, four for Sprite Elf, and then the fifth monster will be the opponents to go into Goddess. So you have three negates and Goddess, one of the stronger negates being um, nine pillars, which are safe from Dark Ruler. You have follow up with Birth. Um, you have potential follow up with Elf. Uh, and then you have follow up potentially with this Coliseum. And then, of course, if you're, you know, let's say they wipe the board and you need to be saved, you still have the Scareclaw Cash to then summon on their turn um, before the battle phase if you think you need to survive in case things really get rough. And so, anyways, this is what the board looks like uh, without ABC. Just strictly level seven. That's what I, that was the whole purpose of this is just, just strictly level seven. This is the route that you can take three, essentially, three negates uh, IP targeting protection.